on vaccines and most important tool in this fight, we're also running a risk. Yesterday, the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, and the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, authorized the fourth shot for those 50 years and older. We know boosters are critical to providing an additional level of protection. That's why I plan to get my second booster today, uh, right here after I'm done speaking. If you haven't gotten your first booster, please don't wait. Do it today. Those who are 50 and older, as well as those who are Im Im immunocompromised, can now get, it, get even more protection than they have from the initial uh, first doses. We have enough supply to give booster shots to those newly eligible individuals. But if Congress fails to act, we won't have the supply we need this fall to ensure the shots are available free, easily accessible for all Americans. Even worse, if we need a different vaccine for the future to combat a new variant, we're not going to have enough money to purchase it. We cannot allow that to happen. Congress, we need to secure additional supply now. Now. We can't wait until we find ourselves in the midst of another surge to act. It'll be too late. And we also need this, this funding to continue our efforts to vaccinate the world with commitments we made. It's critical to our ability to protect against new variants. There's no wall you can build high enough to keep out a virus. Congress needs to act now, please. Let me close with this. I've worked so hard to get our lives, we've worked so hard to we, all of us, have worked so hard to get our lives back. We're summoning every ounce of American resilience, pulled every lever of our government, called upon the goodness, decency, and patriotism of the American people. And together, we turned an unthinkable pain into an extraordinary progress and purpose. Americans are back to living their lives again. We can't surrender that now. Congress, please, act. You have to act immediately. The consequences of an action are severe. They'll only grow with time. But it doesn't have to be that way. We've proven what we can do when we work together. So I urge Democrats and Republicans to get this done with urgency. Let's stand united. Let's continue to pull together. Let's get this done. Thank you, and God bless you all, and may God protect our troops, and I'm going to get my second booster shot. Mr. President, what is the danger of Putin being left in the dark by his military advisors? Okay. I'm reluctant to comment. Can you comment on the declassified intelligence that he doesn't trust his military leadership since it is declassified? No, I can't. Do you want to provide security guarantees to Ukraine as part of peace talks? Do you want to provide security guarantees to Ukraine as part of peace talks? Okay. All right. Mr. President, are you going to extend Title 42? We'll have a decision on that soon. What did President Zelensky tell you about the... Uh, the, the fight against COVID here. What did President Zelensky yeah, tell you about? Yeah. Somebody yeah. asked me about the vaccine. Are you going to fund? Are you going to fund? Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President, what did you hear from President Zelensky you know, today about negotiations with Russia? I've always thought that it discourages people getting the vaccination when they watch people get a needle in their arm. So uh, I apologize for discouraging him. It didn't hurt a bit. And uh, I was able to roll my sleeve up. And thank you all. Can you meet on Trump's to security guarantees to Ukraine as part of peace talks? Can you meet on Trump's to security guarantees to Ukraine as part of peace talks? Can you meet on Trump's to security guarantees to Ukraine as part of peace talks? Can you meet on Trump's to security guarantees to Ukraine as part of peace talks? What did President Zelensky tell you? What did President Zelensky tell you about negotiations? 